Well guys, today is the day. It is honey harvesting day. I'm Jarrett and this is the Shades of Green Show. Yep, that's right guys, it's honey harvesting day. We gave you a little preview of what the flow hive looks like a couple weeks ago in the inventory video, but today we're almost maxed out. We're gonna harvest, surprisingly, a large amount of honey and we're excited. And because we're doing bees, we bring in our resident bee mentor, Andrew Levi with Plant Tag is here to join us. What's up, Andrew? Howdy. He's already been doing some harvesting at his own house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had, had a, a nice yield. crop. Yeah, okay, had a good yield, that's probably better. Yeah. Yield crop, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Kind of sounds thing. Lots of honey. Lots of honey. And if you don't remember, uh, watch our original video we sent on the flow hive. This particular hive right here is a flow hive, and in, in a sense, it's essentially honey on tap. And we're going to show you all the details of why this harvest is so easy. You don't have to harvest the entire box if you don't want to. You can harvest an individual frame. And the bees are virtually undisturbed, saving a lot of stress and a lot of sweat equity on your end. So follow along the process. It's going to be a good time. And we'll give you all the details and steps on why you need to think about getting a flow hive. The Flow Hive is so incredible how it has so many unique features to use. As you can see, you just pull down the viewing window and it shows the taps where you're going to harvest the honey. But that uh, panel also serves as a table that you can put on these supports and you can place your honey jars so your honey can flow right into the jar. The Flow Hive thought of everything. You'll take these plastic tubes, insert them into the taps, and that's where your honey is going to flow from and it'll be a nice smooth process and actually be fairly mess free. The honeycomb is built kind of from the inside out, so if you see the honey in the viewing window at the very end, that means that frame is full. Once you remove that top tab, that wooden panel, that's going to be where you insert your key that's actually going to open up the, shell, the cells that is going to let the honey flow down. There's protective tabs on each cell, on top and on bottom, that you will remove whenever you want to start harvesting the honey. The good news is when you use a large jar, you can actually direct two taps into one jar and speed up the process. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to open up actually four frames and aim two of each frame into one jar. Once you get everything set and your taps in place, you will take your key and insert it into the bottom slot. You slowly go in a little bit because you're going to have to turn each individual row of cells. You insert the key about a third, twist it down, and as you can see, that is raising the tab up and that's opening the cells. And you work your way back through the whole frame until the honey starts flowing down. You'll repeat this process for as many cells or frames as you want to harvest. The beauty of a flow hive is you can harvest all or just a single frame and the bees are virtually undisturbed. It's amazing how you're back here harvesting this honey and you have not seen a bee show up at all. The length of time to fill up a honey jar varies depending on how thick your honey is, but once it starts trickling, you'll do the same thing with that key and close the cells back to complete that honeycomb shape, and that's going to eliminate the flow of honey. Once you have taken the tabs out and closed the cells, you will put all the plastic tabs back in to keep little critters out of the holes, and you will be done with your honey harvest. Well guys, check out the results. Almost two gallons of honey from only 
four frames. This is a seven frame hive, so almost a little over half. We got two gallons of honey to share with our employees, maybe some of you. Uh, it was a great experience. Special thanks to Andrew Levi with Plant Tag coming out, my bee mentor, helping us harvest today. And uh, we're going to take this inside. We actually have a device. We're going to test the water content inside the honey. Uh, if there's too much water, when we store it, it'll ferment. And uh, then I guess we have a lot of mead on our hands, but we want honey. So I'm going to take care of that and do some finished up stuff. But that's all we have now. Uh, a fun fact, actually, we had a swarm yesterday at the nursery. So now we caught it. I, they raised me up in the tractor. It was hilarious. And now we have three beehives at the nursery. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hope you look forward to more videos. Y'all have a good day. go first taste really good worth the wait yeah <laughs> it's like almost citrusy wow that is so good it tastes like citrus yeah it's really good wow cheers cheers another great honey harvest yeah great job mm. shades of green Knocking it out. Straight with a spectacular.